My name is San Jacob Tai, I'm a cardiologist in York. Now, today's video is on the subject of atrial fibrillation and in particular dealing with the concept of anticoagulation in atrial fibrillation. For those of you who don't know what AFib is, it's by far the commonest major heart rhythm disturbance. And I've done a bunch of videos, so if you get a chance, check those out. Uh, but today I wanted to talk to you about a very interesting clinical study called the Averroes study. This was a game changer in atrial fibrillation management. So every so often a clinical trial will come along which changes the way we think about treatment. And in atrial fibrillation, one of those trials was called Averroes, A-V-E-R-R-O-E-S. And it answered a very important question. If a patient with atrial fibrillation couldn't take warfarin, and in those days the choices were only warfarin or uh, heparin, and we didn't have the newer agents, the DOACs, that are available now. Uh, if a patient with AF couldn't take warfarin, was aspirin good enough? Or was there something better? So the problem before Averroes was this, that we had known for decades that atrial fibrillation increased the risk of strokes and those strokes were often more severe, more disabling. And warfarin was the standard blood thinner, but many patients couldn't take it, either because of bleeding risk, drug interactions, or difficulty with monitoring. For those patients, the fallback was often aspirin. But aspirin, whilst convenient, is much less effective at preventing strokes. So the Averroes trial set out to test whether a new drug, a pixaban, a direct oral anticoagulant, it's called a DOAC, would be better than aspirin in patients with atrial fibrillation who were considered unsuitable for warfarin. Over 5,500 people were enrolled and randomized to apixaban or aspirin, then followed up for strokes, systemic embolism, meaning blood clots going around the body, bleeding and death. And the results were astounding because the trial had to be stopped early because the Pixaban was so much more effective. It reduced the risk of stroke and systemic embolism by about 55% compared with aspirin. And crucially, it did not increase major bleeding. In other words, a Pixaban was both safer and more effective than aspirin. So, and this was a landmark moment showing that aspirin was simply not an adequate stroke prevention strategy in atrial fibrillation. Why does it matter? Well, the impact of Averroes is huge. It cemented the role of these DOACs as the preferred treatment for patients with AF who were at risk of stroke, even in those who couldn't take warfarin. And it essentially ended the era of aspirin as a serious option for stroke prevention in AF. So today, guidelines are clear. Aspirin should not be used for this purpose and that's thanks in a large part to Averroes. So the, you know, I often get patients who will say, well, you know, why can't I just take aspirin? I'm worried about taking uh, the anticoagulants. I'm worried about taking a blood thinner, uh, which may increase my risk of bleeding substantially. Why can't I take aspirin? Aspirin is cheap, cheerful. We use it all the time. Why can't I take that? And the answer is because Averroes tells us that aspirin does not, so, so apixaban reduces the risk of stroke substantially more than aspirin, but does not cause any more bleeding compared to aspirin. So if people think that aspirin is just a bit safer, that is not true. The bleeding risk from aspirin and apixaban or Eliquis is the same but Eliquis is so much more superior in terms of stroke prevention. So what was the lesson from Averroes? Well, that innovation, careful trial design, and the courage to test assumptions <coughs> can completely reshape practice. For patients with atrial fibrillation, it meant fewer strokes, fewer bleeds, and better outcomes. And for doctors, it reminded us that we must always challenge the status quo when evidence points the way forward. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Once again, thank you so much for listening to me. And again, um, summer is gradually leaving us and now we're going into autumn, uh, but it's still very beautiful here. 
All right, all the best. Take care.